28-year-old graphic novelist Bestien Vives found fame with his swimming pool romance, A Taste of Chlorine. It won him the Revelation Award for the best first book at Europe's largest comic book festival in the French town of Angoulême. His latest graphic novel, Paulina, tells the story of a young girl who wants to be a ballerina. The first desire to write a book usually comes from desires in your own life. I remember well that when I started to write comics, I'd been single for three and a half years, and I was completely captivated by love stories. I couldn't think of anything else. Bastien Vives studied graphic arts and animation in Paris. The young writer and illustrator has already published several successful works, varying his style to fit each subject. This was one of the great shocks of my life. You know, when you see the four of them as a child, suddenly you don't want to be a Ninja Turtle, you want to be friends with them. And when I create my characters, I want people to love them and to be with them. This basic attitude continues in Polina. Inspired by a ballerina in Berlin, Polina Semyonova, Bastien tells the story of a dancer. He captures her movements in flowing lines. His drawings are sketchy, but with a powerful use of black. This is the whole storyboard. I compare it with the story. Then I start to sketch, so that all I need the storyboard for is to determine where I'll place the figures. And after I've made the sketch, I move right on to the final drawing. French reviewers chose Paulina as the graphic novel of the year in 2011. Bastien Vives draws a gentle but ruthless picture of classical ballet. He focuses on the occasionally difficult relationship between ballet master and student. He asks, how do you learn an art? The comic book depicts the sacrifices dancers have to make to reach the top. There are people who teach you technique, people who teach you working methods, and people who subject you to trial by fire. Polina's teacher, Wojinski, teaches her almost nothing, but he does convey to her why she's a dancer. Rehearsal rooms, performances on stage, talks in the canteen. Bastien Vives' novel takes place in the world of theater. Often, he only suggests things, leaving a lot up to the imagination. His artwork is based on reduction. It's important to write the book for yourself, but you should still give readers the chance to identify with the story. And you should put something of yourself into the characters and create a small space to plant your story. Polina has been another step in the graphic artist's life. He's already turned his attention to his next adventure. Inspired by a Japanese painter from the 1980s, he's working with two other comics illustrators on his first group project. Here too, his female characters are very strong. I've always had a very strong rapport with heroines. And when I heard about Super Trio, I was immediately interested, because Super Trio has three heroines. Bestillon Vives' graphic novels have also been received enthusiastically outside France. He's already earned his place as the young poet of the international comics world.